You cool, I'm cool. You cool, I'm cool. You cool, I'm cool. We coolin' out. You cool, I'm cool. You cool, I'm cool. You cool, I'm cool. We coolin' out. And we are live. What's up, everybody? It's coolin' out. It's Kev. And it's Rel. What's up, man? I see you repping St. John Strong. Yeah, I forgot I was recording tonight. Then I looked at myself in the mirror <laughs> right before we were about to get started. <laughs> I thought about switching. <laughs> nah, I just man. wanted to be casual at home. You I gotta got be casual. Flipping. You gotta be yourself. Yeah, man. I'm repping. Mm. How you Thanks. been though? Chill. Yeah. Just a chill, chill uh conclusion of September. Um I worked in the city Friday. I met up with some coworkers Thursday for a few, but couldn't really stay long. Had a doctor's appointment that saved me because I saw mm. a bunch of zombies come Friday. So maybe it's for the <laughs> Yeah, Friday just chilled, really. Mm. Just, yeah, just chilled. I got back on the uh, the cardio wave, a couple mm. runs in the park because, again, that stomach was was uh, trending north. I didn't know. <laughs> over the belt buckle, so... I just caught up with my doc, and she was like, yeah, seen you put on a few. So, <laughs> so yeah, I'm like, damn, chill with the confirmation. But aside from that, I tried to bust a move, but then the person I tried to make the move with said they were going to be in Midtown on a Saturday. Uh, uh, I'm not that guy anymore. It's ooh. not that serious. Midtown. Saturday, yeah, it's not that serious. So, I just chilled out this weekend. Yeah, I feel you. I, I'm about to actually, as soon as we done recording, I'm gonna, I'm at the gym too, cause you can't be wearing slim fit everything with. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, you're doing double takes in the mirror. Yeah, I agree. With the gut busting, trying to find the right angle. You can't be living like that. <laughs> And I'm not buying a whole new wardrobe just for this one, two month span I'm going through. Like, nah, <laughs> you got to get over this. <laughs> Word, complete upheaval. Bro, I was like, damn, a lot of these are tight. <laughs> hey, bro, that, I'm just about to say that. I'm about to say, I don't want to put myself on blast. I put on a pay of my work pants. What's Friday? Thursday, last th- this past Thursday. Nigga, could to get my wallet in the back pocket? I said, nah. <laughs> I had a shake for dinner and an apple. <laughs> it was bad for my keys and my book bag because they were just bulging too much out of my pocket. I was just like, yo. All right, some got to give. Yeah. I'm just trying to start anew. So my lower extremities are in pain, but I had to run on that concrete Saturday, Saturday and Sunday, but it has to happen. Yeah. One second. Let me put the fan on. It's hot as hell in here. There we go. Sorry for that. I'm chilling, well rested. So yeah, see what see what comes my way. <laughs> That's good, man. I was I was chilling too, and then like randomly, my brother was like, "Yeah, I'm in North Carolina." I'm like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> I'll be at your house in 15 minutes. Thanks. Mm. <laughs> so that happened. Uh, How was that? It was cool. Uh, it was cool. I didn't really. Outside, of that, I didn't really do too much. Um, yeah, that was really it, man. Just trying to, <sighs> trying to get my life together. I hear you on that. I hear I you on like that. I, I feel like I might never, I might never achieve that, but <laughs> we'll just keep well, striving for it. It's been slowly thrust upon me. It's an adjustment. <laughs> <laughs> an adjustment. Oh, all right, man. Let's jump right into it. All I right. want to start with this uh, Bleacher, Supo- Bleacher Report recently <laughs> released um, the top 50 greatest players of all time, NBA, obviously. I knew this uh, day would come, uh-huh. <laughs> I mean, you know my first gripe. I, I, I'm not even going to like I think I do, but I'll let you lead I mean, the way. I they, got, they, got, they got Jordan number one. That ain't my GOAT. So no. we got Bron Bron here at two, but we know he should be one. We know. Even they say it. It's a one A one B scenario. They why then why not put in one A? I, I don't get it. I don't I don't get it. 
And also, it says one, two. It should say if it, it should say one, one, and then jump to three at Kareem. Hold on, before you continue, I just wanna what they put on the this is Bleacher Report. What they put for LeBron, mm -hmm. in referencing LeBron and Jordan, the so-called gap. And by the way, calling this close is probably an undersell. After examining every catch-all metric and basic number imaginable from the regular season, playoffs, and ten-year peaks. It's almost impossible, impossible. To, find, to find any real space between the two. All right, continue, sir. <laughs> That's not how people make it seem, though. Hey, hey. Look, you know where I stand. There's, there hasn't been a better <laughs> basketball player put on this planet. I'm sorry. Nobody, he, nobody has ever had LeBron skill set. I'm sorry. Period. You can say and whatever think... generic will to win and under you know, undersell the clutch moments yeah. that LeBron does have and what, no. Yeah. I haven't seen a dude that can lock up your best player, uh, facilitate the offense, mm. score on defense. I mean, mm. but I'm sorry, continue. No, nah, and I don't, I don't want to be one of these people, but that's like, you know, living in our generation, our era and all that, you know, heavy, but this is the most competitive NBA era ever. Hands down. I'm sorry. Ever. Hands down. Hands down. Ever. Hands down. Hands Where down. Like from there. Mm. But it's not like if you say Jordan, I'm like, all right. It's not like I'm not laughing at you. I'll disagree, but it's not I ain't like at it, but... there was a there was a couple. I don't. You can Some go. People are making it seem like there is like no way in hell people can see LeBron being better than Jordan. <laughs> You're better basketball player, so. I mean... <laughs> Those are the ones I can't deal with. Then I scan the top three though should be I think this should be the three in whatever order. I would I would um those should be the three. LeBron, Michael, and Kareem for me. Yeah, I'm I'm good with that order. Undisputed three. Uh I guess you want Magic or Larry at four and five for me. I ain't bit. with it. I ain't with it. Okay. I like Larry. Mm hmm Shaq was better than him. Mm -hmm. Tim Duncan was better than him. They people don't give Tim Duncan his proper due diligence, his proper respect. He should have been there. Bill Russell at eight. That's come on now. I can't comment on the black and whites. Come on, I can't do it. I can't. I'll give, I'll give Wilt his love, but at the same time, you think about the air he's playing, and he was the tallest person then. I'm with you. I'm with you. I. That's that, why that, just that, hard. That, to, that's what really. That's what got me. Like, if we're talking about unfathomable things, this is, that's the first thing on the list. Because as I scan through, I'm like, Duncan and Shaq, like you said, between them, even their listings, maybe swap mm -hmm. that, maybe not. I think it's a debate, whatnot. Mm -hmm. Seeing Steph Curry as the 10th best player of all time already. Because mm. as you go through the list, you're saying that the best point guard is Magic, shooting mm -hmm. guard is Mike, small forward LeBron. Power for mm. Duncan, uh, center Shaq. So yeah. you're, you're saying that the second best point guard of all time, and this, you know what? It might be true, but he's not better than Kobe. He's not, he not better than Kevin be Durant. Durant. He's not better than Kevin Durant. It's debatable if he's better than Hakeem. He's, like he's not. He's, he's not there, there yet. He's not there yet. He's gotten better than Kobe. He's not better than Kobe. He's not better than Kobe. <laughs> he got him better than Kobe. Who would have thought we we this day would come? We <laughs> I can't believe what they're doing to Kobe in his retirement. He better than they, you know, people know. are really just acting like they never watched him play this is for crazy. Seasons. This is crazy. <laughs> I wasn't as big on Kobe as everybody else when he was playing as other people, but this is disrespectful. Steph this is, is disrespectful. Steph is I thought Curry. Steph better than Kobe. He has become underrated in his retirement. To the yes. point that it's crazy. Steph Curry should be number 10. If I just look at the resumes, I mean, five rings, MVP, two finals MVP, the all NBA nods, the all defense, which Steph never had and probably never. will even sniff. <laughs> Not never. alone. Like for him to be better than Kobe one day, well, you don't get a need, you need another ring. Finals MVP, maybe, maybe just one of those. <laughs> I just don't know. 
That is unfathomable to me. I think that's really disrespectful. I also, but the thing that that gets me is like you have him ranked higher than Kevin Durant. They were on the same team, and we clearly saw who the best who the best player was on that team. That's a good point as well. That's a good point. Because even when you look at their resumes, I guess you could debate, but all time I would still I would have Kevin Durant as a better all time. More, he has some more. One more ring around, and that's it. He has two rings to three, one MVP to two, but two finals MVPs to zero, couple all NBA. Well, I would have to look at their all NBA nods, but just the eye test as well. The dis- he's a better player. Come on. Kobe's Come on. A- that's pretty crazy. Ten is I, I, still- not, I don't know what I have to scroll up and see what the criteria was for this. Ten is crazy. I'm just going based off order. I don't know. I don't know what the criteria is, but either way, oh, ten you know, is too the, high. At the start of these lists, they usually be like, "We did this based on because yeah. this metrics based." I'm just trying to understand because either way, if it's metrics based, then KD should be better than him. No, I'm with you. I'm with you. Um, Oscar, Steph- Oscar Robinson at eleven. I'm gonna. Let- <laughs> <laughs> This and next then, one really caught me, though. I don't know if he better than Hakeem. He shouldn't be hiding Durant. Shouldn't be hiding Coke. Yo, I'm sorry. David Robinson at 12? That's what really got me. <laughs> I scrolled. I'm like, oh. And to put Hakeem after. Like, I don't remember. <laughs> That's an NBA TV staple. That's a Hardwood Classic staple. When David Robinson got the MVP in front of Hakeem. <laughs> Oh, and he gave him that business. He gave him that work. And David Robinson was saying he was doing all he can. <laughs> Come on, man. That's crazy. That is. He shouldn't be high. He's not the 12th best player in general. And he definitely shouldn't be high. The Admiral. The Admiral. Come on. He needed Timmy. And even Hakeem had like, he had the dream shake. He had like a, a signature move. That and he was the main dude on his team. Team, that's a fact. You can say whatever. Jordan wasn't there. He didn't need a Tim. He didn't need another player to come along that was better than him to win his ring. When he won his rings, he was the main person. He was the main reason. This is so disrespectful. That is disrespectful. Hakeem got two rings, two Finals MVPs, well, an a MVP, twelve-time All Star. Mm. You're talking about eleven. All NBA teams, two time defensive player. To, come on, man. Mm. This, is, this is disrespectful. That's some Spurs love, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Whoever compiled this list must be from San Antonio. But then again, no, because then Tim Duncan wouldn't be as low as he is. All right, let me. I found it at the top. As has been the case throughout the series, the criteria were, were mostly subjective, though heavily influenced by both basic and advanced statistics. Catch on, mm. so like box plus minus. And win shares per 48 minutes came into play. You'll also see pace and playing time adjusted numbers. All right. Yeah, they're wrong. But I guess <laughs> a player like Steph is as high as he. No. That's, but that's when adjusted metrics goes wrong. It is. It there's is. no way he should be 10. I agree. I, I'm fully, I fully agree. Is anybody in this top 15 that should not be in the 15? I would yeah. definitely rework the order, but is there who? David Robinson. <laughs> you might be right. I mean, I mean, well, I, I don't know, who, put I don't Dirk know who, I, who I would in, replace him with. Why wouldn't I put Dirk ahead of him? Why wouldn't I put KG? Uh, nah, KG. Yeah. Maybe not. Why wouldn't I put Dirk? Yeah, I mean, Dirk was the main person on his team. And he changed, he actually changed basketball. Seven foot could shoot. That's in that, with that mean fadeaway international. Yeah. Mm. David Robinson is way too high. <laughs> I don't know who ranked him, but this is way too high. He's a, he is definitely, without question, a first battle Hall of Famer. Everything he got, he deserved, but come on. <clears throat> mm. All right. So we got KG, Dirk, Jerry uh, West. Yeah. Durant. 
he'll climb. He should be higher on this, but yeah, see. they just suspected him. Jerry West. I have no, I mean, comment. <laughs> no comment. I was been a Wade truther. <laughs> I'm, I'm more Wade as the third best shooting guard of all time. So, but hey, not Jerry West. I guess you could just go and you know I never saw him play, so I guess I can't comment. Charles Barkley. At um. He, he should be the best power forward on there without a ring. At n- no, let me rephrase that. Any power forward ahead of him should have a ring. I think he's the best power forward without a... They all do. They got... Uh, no, he should be the first list. Everybody else should. Okay, so that's correct. Yeah, Maybe yeah. higher, because he's a beast. Call Malone? He should be higher than Call. Uh, I'm not mad at that. <clears throat> You got your boy Wade at 21. I'm kind of surprised to see him that high. <laughs> Jerry West. He better than him. He is, I, in my opinion. <laughs> he is better than him. Scotty Pippen was... I'm sorry, go ahead. Go. <laughs> nah, there's no going on it. Julius Irvin, I ain't mad at that at 22. No. Nah. Moses Malone. I didn't really see him play too much. I ain't gonna lie. I haven't seen him play, but when I see people talk about him, I'm surprised he's not higher. But hey, what do I know? Um, I never saw him play. Hey, look. See, and this is where we get da- dangerous. <laughs> Scotty Pippen. Things are getting dicey. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna try out Scotty on us at 25. 25. No, Scotty that's Pippen. That's twenty fifth. That's just six rings. That's all that is. There's no way in hell he should be at twenty five. Six rings, and he's the best, one of the best perimeter defenders. It's hard to tie. Mm. You know what? <laughs> huh? You're not going to get much disagreement from me. <laughs> Scotty at twenty. All right, this is where yeah. This See, is I'm gonna sit down and write my own list. This is where it gets. <laughs> To the dark, the dark ages. John Havlicek. Oh, oh no. Yeah, yeah those Bill Harden. Russell team. Anybody that team with Bill Russell, I don't have a comment on you. <laughs> James Harden at twenty seven. What you think about that? Hmm. I'm not mad at that. Yeah, I'm not either. I think he does. He has. He doesn't have a ring. I think when he if he, if he gets a ring. That'll push him upward, but yeah, he should vault. He should vault higher than than Wade. He should vault higher than Jerry West. <laughs> Easy. If he gets a ring, yeah, that'll push that'll push him up at least ten spots. Yeah, one of the best offensive tiers. I mean, Chris since he Paul. got to but particularly, uh, twenty eight. Let me see who's behind them. John I- Stockton. I'd, I'd rather Chris Paul. But... Yeah, of course. That's why I'm not I, mad at I'm not mad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not mad at that. I'm fine with that. All right, so then you got John Stockton. Yeah, the best point guard of his generation. He just owned that. Easy. Huh? Bob, Bob, I said easily. Bob Pettit. Next. Yeah. I don't know where you should be placed. Dolph Shays. Hey, mm. He was the first MVP in NBA history, Bob Pettit, and led the league in play efficiency rating. I don't need your, your pro-rated <laughs> P- PR rate. You know, you know, for a fact, there was no PER when he was playing. That was Mexico <laughs> oh, for the 55-56 season. Come on, son. We just need a separate list. Because yeah. <laughs> um, this is crazy. Who was Dolph Shays? Over the course of his Hall of Fame career, Dolph Shays, 0.192 win shifts before they administered only Bob Pettit's. All right, you see. Again, we're talking about what? The 55 season? <laughs> and, his, and his 18.5 points, 18 and a half points per game were the product of a well-rounded scoring game. Okay. Let's, 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 let's do this next sentence. People remember Dolph's long set shots. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not saying these players should just be forgotten in history, but they should be set aside and appreciated with their own different lists. Not even a jump shot, a long set shot. 
Look at his per 75, 17 and 11. How many of those set shots would he be getting off in today's NBA? <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> set shot, God, Lee. Per 75 would be 17 and 11. The what boy's a you, monster. What have you done with Prime Boogie? <laughs> that boy a monster. You know what? <laughs> he have done with Prime Boogie. He got her sign white side numbers. Andre Drummond type numbers. <laughs> oh my, he does. <laughs> <clears throat> and we that's, out here acting like he... <laughs> That's why I can't... That's why when people scoff at, like, if you had put, like... I heard somebody wild and say if they had put JaVel McGee back then. <laughs> Bro, but real talk, he got Dwight Howard type numbers. <laughs> if you put the Dwight would have been Bill Russell. <laughs> he got Dwight Howard. <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, my God. Clyde Drexler, I'm not mad at that. Oh, they don't even have the wire on this list. Hmm. Nope. Revisit that. (laughs) Yeah, there's another person that should be in this topic that they don't have that I'm going to talk about. You're going to include a couple? Okay. Clyde Drexler's cool. I'm not mad about that. How you feel? You good? Yeah. Ain't cool. (laughs) Jason Kidd at 33. I mean, I know he won the ring, but I... He won the ring with Dallas, beloved. I know. I would have t- put Steve Nash ahead. Westbrook. Yeah. A couple of people. Damn, McHale might have been ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely take Kevin McHale over Jason Kidd. This list is nuts. Yeah, yeah Russell right. and Nash are too low. Yeah, so all right, so the next two are West are Nash and then Westbrook, and then this is where I wanted to shoot myself in the head. The train went off. <laughs> <laughs> train went off the, st- the, the track. <laughs> Number 30, yo, I'm telling you, Skip Bayless must have contributed to this list. <laughs> Number 37, Manu Ginobili. Look, I'm... This is some Spurs-loving shit, I'm telling you. He's the 37th best player of all time. That's kind of tough. Of all time. Who's he in front of that he shouldn't be? All time is kind of tough. He's not better than Patrick Ewing. I guess he won a ring, so I guess, yeah. He won more... He's never... <laughs> he taught a talk because he wasn't durable. He was impactful, but he wasn't durable. He got the four rings and he contri- he contributed, but he was never he, he was never a star. Yeah. He couldn't hold up. How many all star games did he did he make? I'm gonna say off the top of my head, probably like two or three. And that makes you the thirty seventh best player of all time. Just off eye test, he's not the thirty seventh best player of all time. It's the metrics. He went. He went to two All Star teams. <laughs> God bless his soul. Four rings. He going in the Basketball Hall of Fame. Respect him. Patrick Ewing. Mm. He gonna go in. He gonna go to the Basketball Hall of Fame on an international shit, just like Yao Ming did. <laughs> this Bill Walton love. I don't understand. Yeah, I keep hearing he had that. That one or two great years, and then he injured his foot, and then... Yeah, yeah, it was over. Anything I read about him is like, yo, if he hadn't injured his foot. <laughs> but he <laughs> did. <laughs> I don't know how to talk about the man. If that's the case, Derrick Rose should be on this list. Nah, chill. If well, he didn't... Point, yeah. <laughs> now, I'm saying, if you're going to base up that logic... Yeah. Adrian Dantley. I don't know who this is. Let me read about him. I've I've heard him get mellow comps. He was a scoring machine, apparently. One of the oh. most scores in league history. Who? I don't know. I, that's cool. I, I can't disagree because I don't know him. Mm. A man we do know. <laughs> 41. He shouldn't even be mentioned on this list. <laughs> you wouldn't have Paul Pierce on the list at all? No. 
Oh my gosh. Not at all. He gonna be a first ballot Hall of Famer. Who is it in the NBA? <laughs> apparently, my, apparently, Mono Ginobili is too. <laughs> Thirty-seven best player of all time. I can't get over that. Yeah, ten-time All Star. Got Kawhi at forty-two. So they trying to say Kawhi Lynn is not better than Manu Ginobili? I guess not career wise. Yeah. He's definitely a better player. That's easy. So I don't know what else. Uh, he gonna he gonna jump by like Christmas. He's gonna be right <laughs> I don't understand this. <laughs> by Christmas. Actually, he should be higher than him now. They've they even said be it. Higher than him now. On top of the loaded playoff resume, Kawhi has two defensive player of the year wins, five all Yeah, I I agree. Red yeah, that's actually up. kinda weird. He should be higher than he should be in the thirties. Well, I'm looking at the people ahead of him. He should be I'm about twenty six. Come on. No. He should be twenty five or twenty four. Come on. I guess it's the I guess it's the injury and number. Yeah, he should definitely be higher. That's a blatant miss. Reggie Miller. No, he no, oh, shouldn't be higher than Ray Allen. Where's Ray? Oh hell no! no. Allen, Ray Allen's better than him. The shooting is like the only thing equivalent. If you do careers, yeah. accomplishment, full moments, Ray accolades, Allen was yeah, was actually like a monster, averaging twenty seven. And he played in like big, big games, and he has hard. No, nah, he should be. Yeah, high. and I think he was a better player. He, he was. So that's another miss. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Forty-five, George Gervin, or forty-six is the real. Oh no! That's the oh no I was talking about, not the ice yeah. man. I've heard yeah. Good. So I put respect on his name. I. I was in the what? What year was he playing? Yeah, I didn't see his reign from seventy six to eighty <laughs> six. <laughs> I didn't see his reign. <laughs> you got now. You got Paul, man, Mister Gasol. To you, forty six <laughs> best player. Look, I saw him in his prime. <laughs> Whatever Be- someone say, look, <laughs> beast. Forty seven best players, kind of twenty six. 46. 46 best player of all time is kind of tough. He gonna make the Hall of Fame, yes. But <laughs> come on, this is crazy now. <laughs> ah, who's after this him? This is really crazy because Isaiah should be way higher. He, bet, he, bet, he better than Isaiah Thomas. <laughs> oh my god! Why they do Isaiah like this? They got yeah, mad. Isaiah should be higher. Well, I hear about how good he was. Yeah. You win one ring in New York. That should take you far. Yes, I can't speak on this. I, I've <laughs> never seen him play. Ditto. Ditto. Before my time. Rick Barry. I heard he was a beast. Again, never seen him. All right, all right. This is the big yeah. Let's scan these. I already know off top of my head. AI should be here. Yeah. Off top of my head. I'm surprised him and Carmelo weren't on this. (laughs) Oh, I didn't even think about Carmelo. That I'm a Carmelo truther. (laughs) Nah, I mean. Carmelo just off rip is better than Paul Pierce, but I think that ring is what really got people. But AI, yeah. all of his accolades, and he was an MVP. Nah, I know it did it, man. It's the what metrics. Did... Oh, he's inefficient as hell. Yeah, the metrics got him. That's how they do, my boy. Yeah. But some of these, uh, Listen, listen. Some of these painful admissions, as they put it, shouldn't even be mentioned. Who? I'm just go down a list in no particular order, but Chauncey Billups, Elton yeah. Brand, Vince Carter. <laughs> I don't know who Dave Cohen's is. Addison English, da da Blake Griffin. 
Grand Hill, Al Horford. Come on, son. Jeff I mean, Hornacek. Yeah. Kevin Love. Dame yeah. Lillard. Yeah. Yeah, Sean there should be like Marion. another 50 honorable mention list. First of all, Kyle Lowry. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> There's like really like four or five. Yo, Cal Dennis, Lowry. Dennis Rodman. <laughs> Yo. What kind of sick behavior is going on at the at oh, beach? No. I'm done because Cal Lowry. He should he shouldn't even be sniffing the greatest <laughs> painful and omissions. <laughs> Kyle Lowry. Wow. It's a sick world at Bleacher Report, man. Uh, again, there are probably arguments for any of the above to make a top 50. No, there aren't. No. <laughs> Not for any of the above. <laughs> no, there aren't. Not at all. I, I've seen Kyle Lowry play. No one's ever said, oh, that man's great. Wow. What's Dennis Robbins' argument? <laughs> To I make guess top 50 most list. dominant rebound of all time. That's it. <laughs> What's Andre Karolinko's argument? What's Jeff Horn? Jeff Harnasek was a painful admission. What is going on? <laughs> they they probably had it. Kevin Love. Nah, they tripping. Who, who is Alvin Adams? <laughs> 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 That's one of the most like generic names in the world. Like who is like a created 2K player? Who are you? Oh my god. All three of the Johnsons they list they listed are painful. You know what? I'm I'm good on the list. I mean, I'm surprised Kyle so Horford is here too. That's Al painful Horford. admission. Omissions. Oh man. They really weren't reaching for these honorable mentions. Yeah, once they got to like, they got the top seven. <laughs> that list went nuts. <laughs> it's hard to do these lists, though. I'm not even going to lie. It is. It is. Because I'm is. sure you, you just forget people and then you got to go back and figure out where to slot them, move this person down. And then you got to, what is your criteria? And. Mm-hmm. All right, we got one more list. <laughs> the final ESP, the finale of the ESPN rank came out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They Back. did my boy. They did my boy better than I thought it, they was gonna do him. Ditto. I thought they were gonna get real disrespectful. Yeah, I, I think I predicted they put him at six. Yeah, I said five. <laughs> yeah, they put him at three. Honorable. They didn't, they didn't want to motivate him too much. I'm sorry, man. That's Giannis love. We just you, watched Kawhi shut him down. It, you got the same flaw as Ben Simmons. You just a little bit more dominant. <laughs> <laughs> the same exact flaw. He's the best player in the world. And he's more willing to shoot. You're right. You're right. Because yeah. he, he'll, right. he'll, 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 he'll let, let them things go. You're right. There's a difference between can and won't. Yeah. Because <laughs> Ben won't even let it fly. But I saw, quick aside, I saw a Bleacher Report put a, put a post that Ben Simmons says, if it's open, I'm Some, letting it fly. No, I we'll, said, we'll oh, about, okay. We'll talk about media day takeaways. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of talk right now. Um, a lot of people and Yeah. This Giannis love, I just, we know, we know, bro. We know. We know. Yeah, and even like I knew this was gonna happen once Bron and make the playoffs. Yeah, you know, whoever came out of it with the title, because there's no way they were just gonna let months go and be like, oh, they won a title, but LeBron's coming back. Yeah, just, that wasn't gonna happen. Kawhi's not better than LeBron. No, but did we both agree who's better than Giannis? I think so. I mean, before the out, before, when they got messed up, I think we both agreed he was a better player. I think we might have taken different sides. I think you took the Raptors and I took the Bucks. Oh, when they got matched up, I did pick the Raptors. But I believed, 
I think I, I definitely agree that there were better players. I just picked a different team. That's yeah, what we yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It came down to, again, like, whatever the gap is with them defensively, offensively, he's just not as well-rounded. It's what I came to. And, yeah, if you're doing this list heading into 2019, like, Kawhi should be first. Yeah. I, I'm... No. Not yet. Nah. That's cool. Uh, it's going gonna, gonna to motivate Braun. Yeah, should I should the rest of the top ten because you know you can argue about that any sort of ways. Paul George, this is ten. What number was he? Oh, ten. okay. How about this? Say. Paul George, Dame, Joel yeah. Embiid, yeah, Jokic. I got, I got. So I got, I got, I got right. that right. You were right. I was wrong <laughs> on that. Steph at mm-hmm. six is surprising. I thought they would definitely put him higher. Anthony Davis at five. Surprising. I thought he was going to be lower. Yeah. I thought Steph was going to be higher than Anthony Davis. I thought James was going to be one of the people above LeBron, but he's four. And then Braun. Mm. And then Kawhi and Giannis. But yeah. I'm not I, upset about that list. It's just the Braun thing. I'm not. It's all debatable. I disagree, yeah. but it's not like... Curry over Kobe. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of crazy. Uh, Kyrie Irving is the 11th best player. Mm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know about that. CJ McCollum is the 13th best player. I don't know about that. Where is Bleach Report based out of? I don't know. But this one is ESPN rank, I was just saying. Uh, mm. I was going to say probably in California, but we know... ESPN in Bristol. <laughs> yeah, I don't. There had to have been some medicinals going on while this list was being. Yeah, CJ this... McCollum at thirteen. It's the thirteen best player. So the Portland Trailblazers had the thirteenth and ninth best player. Mm. That would mean they had like the best duo in the league. <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> Kyrie is. Luca, Luca at sixteen already. That's and his high. sophomore season is kind. Yeah, <clears throat> That's too high. I also didn't like where they placed Porzingis too. He got him way too high too. Like he, he been gone for a minute. He ain't played since last February. Right? <laughs> last February, February twenty eighteen. <laughs> no, he missed the whole season. I'm tripping. This is twenty nineteen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah, about to go, it's 2018 going to 20. I was going to let you lead yourself. <laughs> I was like, ah. <laughs> I was like, this, I'm like, February. <laughs> yeah, he paced in 20, September 2018. Yeah, I just, we'll see. This is see. why I'm so glad, like, we're getting league pass, though, because the, the NBA is so intriguing. Like, I do, I'm not going to lie, I do want to see the Mavericks play with Luka. Oh. And KP, so I'm like, all right, and there's no way in hell I'm gonna get those those games unless they're gonna be gonna be on national TV. So I'm like, I definitely want to watch those kind of games. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. Maybe some of these players will back these things up. Russell at twelve. Mm. Kyrie better than him. Mm. That one's close. Yeah. I wouldn't be any way. I just as players, I wouldn't be motivated. Kyrie is different than whatever he was last. Well, he was, he was sad. As we learned recently, he was sad. Yeah, he he so lost tough. his grand- <laughs> Chill, 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 chill. So. Now you, you're just supporting the facts that he told us. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. And he in a better place. So who knows? Brooklyn will do that to you. They'll be all right. I'm coming around on Westbrook and Harden, but we could do like a big NBA preview, like when it gets closer. But this yeah. is fun. I'm coming around them too. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, you're talking some big talking, but I'm also like, yo, I can see y'all being dangerous. Just leave us the yeah. Any uh, media day takeaways? Just anything? That was one of them. I mean, Russell for sure. I laughed, but then I thought about it more and more. Yeah. <laughs> Cause what is what was his exact quote that the teams need to be afraid of him or something like that or 
to paraphrase is uh James and I playing together is really scary. Not for us, for the rest of the league. Yes, 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 yes. And he named a bunch of people. He was like, yeah, the league's excited. You know, you had Kevin and Kyrie come together. He named them all. Paul and uh, Kawhi, LeBron and AD. But he said two MVPs reign above them all. (laughs) It is nuts. But he's not lying. And at the same time, you have to think about it realistically. They two MVPs in their prime. <laughs> and the way D'Antoni is, 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 has already said that he's going to pace their minutes out. Yeah. I'm like, ah. I can't Cause, wait cause, to see what that looks like. Because Westbrook, Westbrook and Spurts is very dominant. Mm-hmm. He inefficient as hell, but. but yeah. He's very dominant. Some things you never lose. <laughs> yeah. And you got James Harden. We know what James Harden can do at Spurts. More than spurts. Yeah, I'm really interested on that. And they too. still got their core. Yeah. PJ Tucker. What's that Eric guy's name? Eric Not Gordon. Eric. Eric Gordon, yeah. Clint Capella. Clint Capella. They picked up Tyson Chandler for that presence. All right. And who else? Oh, they still got uh Gerald Green. He he does his thing. No, I like him. I like yeah. I gotta look at the schedule and stuff, but I do like them. I will definitely be checking out their first game. See how that looks. And then... Any other... Just media. Paul George! Yeah, beat me to it. (laughs) Hands down, they're the best duo. He must have heard... He must have heard Russ speak first. (laughs) (laughs) Hands down, they're the best duo. They're the best two-way duo. And I mean, are. you could be right and wrong. <laughs> I mean, they are the best two-way duo. Agreed, but... They're they going to lock some people down. Oh, no, they were talking. He was talking. Like, yeah. I, no, I think they're one of the uh, interviewers at, reporters act. So you and uh, Kawhi going to fight over who's going to defend the best player. Chuckle. <laughs> yeah, we might. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't even be mad at him. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's feeling himself. Be mad at him. Isn't he out to start the season? He said till November ish. Ah, that sucks. Oh, the ba- oh. Guess who Houston opens the season with? At home against Milwaukee. That's a nice little match. Oh, is that a national? Yeah, first um Thursday. First TNT game of the season. Oh, that's going to be perfect. That is really good. Oh, well, no. First Thursday night TNT game. Yeah. Eight o'clock. All right. That's perfect. Because I'm 10 30. They, they, they will me. I mean, this one might. Then Clip is Golden State. Oh. Ah, come- it's going to be essentially like the Raptors versus Golden State. Paul George ain't playing. I mean, Kawhi's still out there. I mean, yeah, against Steph. And uh, Draymond, oh, Russell. I can't wait. I can't wait to see the Rockets play Golden State. Oh yeah, especially oh, early yeah. in the season. They, they, they gonna, gonna be, be they, gonna, <laughs> they, they gonna be beating Steph head in. Especially with no Clay, and Clay just on the sidelines <laughs> weeping. <laughs> they gonna be beating Steph head in. I feel bad for Steph. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, you don't. <laughs> you know I don't. And you know he always taunting and doing all that extra stuff. And now he out there by himself, him and Draymond. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna be beating his head in. <laughs> oh my god, this opening week schedule is a godsend. Yeah, okay. Maybe tell me, tell me some good ones. Some some ones that stand uh, just out. Come by the. Uh, I'm just looking at Wednesday to Saturday right now. Well, Wednesday to mm-hmm. Friday. Uh, Boston, Philly. Hmm. You know, you spark your own excitement. I don't know. I mean, Denver, I, mean, I, watch, I mean, obviously, I'll watch it, but... I those are two know. national games for that Wednesday. The rest of the slate's so-so for Wednesday. I'll tell you the two Thursday ones that I think are good. Yeah. The Friday national games, Dallas at New Orleans. I'm going to watch that. We get your first it. look at the KP. And, and Zion. Is that their opening night for them? Uh, I'm not a league pass, so... We'll see that before then. No, nah, they open up against Washington. Nah, yeah, you're yeah. right. It's only nah. so much screens one can use. 
I'm not watching that. I don't, Bradley Bill, nah, I don't need good. to see them. <laughs> yeah. Bradley Bill led Wizards. I'm good. Mm. Friday's national games look kind of good. After that oh, is uh, Utah at LA. Lakers. <laughs> I, I'm definitely watching that. We'll watch Spider Mitchell get his head beat in. Yeah, I'm tired of the hype. Just let, let's but just. I do want to see that. Mike Conley going to be going to be good for that team though. You know how I feel about Mike. <laughs> you love <laughs> you love Mike Conley. <laughs> At one point in time, he was the highest paid player in the NBA ever. <laughs> Legend in the make. <laughs> Some say he reset the contract. He reset the market. He reset the market. You don't need an all-star uh, bid. <laughs> oh, that's going to be good. Yo, NBA. Okay. I am pretty, what, three weeks out in a day? Yeah. I'm very excited. Tomorrow's October, so. Yeah, three weeks to the day. Yeah, work week. from home it is. <laughs> yeah, because I already, oh. So wait, who? So opening night is that's gonna be boring. That's a that's a terrible first game. It is the Raptors against the the Pelicans. Oh yeah, you're already gonna get a look at Zion. Maybe Zion's really that as good as they say. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but I don't want to see him doing. against Siakam. I know. They just got. I mean, they gotta show love for the NBA champs. But come on, I don't want to see that. Damn. I'm gonna watch it, but. I gotta get to LA versus LA. Yeah, I'm definitely staying up for that. I got One, to live better cave. Oh, they better cave. Kawhi cave in. They better wait. They better just ah. Speaking of, Bron not talking. Bron said no talking. I'ma just show you. He ain't oh. said nothing about a duo. He said I'm not talking. I'll go back and watch. I didn't, I didn't see that the media day. That conditioning go one you sent me. When you talked about conditioning, that conditioning video you sent me. At the end of it, the reporter tried to have say something about, like, what's he going to do this season and basically alluding to, you know, like, people have been doubting you and stuff. But he said, I'm just going to show you. I'm going to show you. I like, he sound motivated. I did see Kuzma, though, out for like 10 or 12 weeks. Yeah, stress stress fracture. Oh, but apparently Avery Bradley lost forty pounds, and he's been wowing people in camp. Oh, that's the other thing I saw. Wait, what? But camp. Avery Bradley lost 40, 40 pounds coming off an abdominal surgery, and been wowing people in camp. Forty pounds? How how much did he I, didn't weigh that? That's what I was saying. Look, you know what I'm gonna say, but I can't say it because. <laughs> but you know what I want to say. I <laughs> but, I, I, but I, I did a double take too. Google it. You know, what's the leg? <laughs> huh? Because he losing weight. The white lost all this weight. Look, man, L.A. <laughs> and I'm gonna leave it alone. <laughs> I'll leave it alone after that. Me too. Yo, forty pounds. He didn't weigh. He... That sounds unhealthy. Google it. I did a forty pounds for somebody that you gotta look obese for me to be thinking. He looked skinny to begin with. Yeah, I can see if he was like Zion Williamson and like he lost forty pounds like over like the first three seasons of his NBA career. Avery Bradley. Look, fam, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. That's what he's claiming. Maybe the boy can't count. <laughs> must have been 14. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think any other media days. Oh, I saw Chris Paul in his OKC uniform. Did he look in, like, did he look in shape? He vegan now. It's hard to tell, but I guess. I, I ain't gonna lie, though. Um, that one picture I did send you, he did look a little skinnier. I know he is in shape. He did ESPN the body issue. You gotta be in shape. It took orders for him to get here? I mean, if I was in Oklahoma City, I'd be in shape too. I ain't gonna lie. 
Cause there ain't nothing out there. Yeah, and he planning to get traded, so. Yeah, he going he about to put on a show. I, I don't know what else. Who, but. Oh, Joel Embiid. Mm. He about to put it. the best season of his career. Changes died up. Just the same old after that. Ben Simmons, you mentioned. Yeah. He's shooting now. He Joe Harris now. <laughs> Kyle <laughs> Cole. Don't mom. leave me open. <laughs> you you go regret it. What else quotes I saw? Oh, Giannis handling a future free agent, free agency well. He said it'd be disrespectful for me to speculate about my free agency. It'd be disrespectful to the Bucks. Well done. Just keep. <laughs> it'd be disrespectful to the Bucks. Well, Just you saw commit to oh, him. Yes, tampered. <laughs> yeah. Just commit to him. What are you talking about? Crazy idea, right? <laughs> I'm trying to think out the contenders if I saw anything else that really. Anything I saw the. Good? I know how much you love them. Ah, chill out. <laughs> I gotta really sit down when we do our NBA preview and really, really shed tears when I cut out one of these <laughs> these West teams because. Yo, it's gonna be hard. Hard for someone. But no, that's about it around media takeaways. I think. All right. My last thing, I guess, is uh, week four takeaways. You know, it's not our passion, but... Yeah, we spent a whole good... 40 minutes on it <laughs> last week. Couldn't tell. Shield. <laughs> uh, <laughs> shield. Um, not really any takeaways. I mean, Danny Dom's got us another win. You know how we do. Two and two now. Brady was trash. He was terrible. I started the red zone when most games were about a quarter and a half in. So I saw it from that. And I saw the pretty much all the entire the rest of all the afternoon games. He was terrible. And that one that one was on CBS too here in New York. Yeah. He was terrible. He was terrible. But that defense. That defense is, defense. is insane. That defense. They go on terrible. Paris. They play the Giants. Either next week or in two next, weeks. I think next Thursday. They go on the Yeah. The they Sunday to Thursday is kind of. And the short week, too. They go on the I'm hoping the Pats, you know, whatever. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, um, that Chiefs Lions game was good. That was really good. Yo, Stafford made a couple of throws that I was just like, whoa. <laughs> so when he was coming out of college, he was like very known for his very strong arm, et cetera, et cetera. But he just never put it all together. He made a couple throws in that game where it's I was just like I and saw his blood all... between four defenders. Four I was like And they should have won that game. That yeah. was entertaining though, but that was a good test for Mahomes. I thought that was a good entertaining game. Surprising to score a single touchdown. That is surprising. That is. Yeah. Uh, the Browns. Uh, that was a really good win. I, they I must be. Did mentioned. not see that coming. Did you see when Chubbs broke out uh, for that last? T- I had to look at my screen <laughs> when it's visible on my computer screen. Mm-hmm. I didn't know he had the Jets on like that. Me neither. <laughs> and they dismantled. I, not... I mean, because like at, at UGA, he was more of like a strong back. Yeah. But he he dusted him. The only thing we gotta check in with our our boy down in <laughs> he down he down in Cleveland now. He done forgot himself. Who? Oh no. Oh. He said the only thing I was mad about is I lost my earring. Two oh, y- no. two two catches, twenty yards. You getting choked up? I was about to say he probably was lightheaded. <laughs> he was choked him out. You losing your earring? <laughs> I want better for him. And God knows how much that earring cost that he probably lost. That's true. Your boy golf. Oh, that ain't my boy. <laughs> you, you throwing that word around too loose right now. <laughs> I se- he secured the bag before. Whoa. <laughs> he secured the bag, forgot what team he playing for. Wow. They broke down. Uh, I was watching Fox and they, they broke down, you know, like halftime and all that stuff. And post game, they break down like the videos and all that stuff. They were, he had three interceptions. Two of them, the defender was standing right in front of him, and he just threw it right at him. 
I was like, yo, they gave you a hundred mil something guaranteed, and you still throwing games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you must be in a hole with a bookie because it's like, what are you looking at? <laughs> You got that? Uh, Either you throw the game or I'll break your head. (laughs) (laughs) You know, I'll break your finger one by one. (laughs) They gave up 55 Uh, points to the same team. Daniel, our quarterback, torched. Crab legs was the quarterback. 55 points. Going to be my quarterback. Couldn't be. You know what was surprising, very surprising. The Falcons are terrible. Mm. Mm. Terrible. Might be time to bust a move. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Might be time. <laughs> How they put up ten points against the Titans? Yeah, Mariota sucks. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm like, yo, what is going on? They one in three right now. Yeah, I gotta give it, give it up to uh, Jameis and Mariota. Whatever I think that <laughs> this is it, <laughs> they, they just, they're like, all right, <laughs> they find a way. Yep, one more game to, to extend their career. <laughs> Damn. Who else? What else was surprising to me? I'm trying to think what other games I watched. I think those, that was really it. Yeah, those are the ones that really. So like, okay. Mm. Uh. Who the third best team in the NFC? Actually, what I'm talking about, who the best team in the NFC? And who the third best in the AFC? <laughs> the weekly chicken. Who the best team in the NFC? The Cowboys just lost, God bless. I agree. Good way to start the week. But even in that, I mean, the way that the Saints won, that didn't inspire in confidence. No, hell no. Nah. But, I mean, it kind of did because it's like when Drew Brees gets back, at least you know True. you got a very strong defense. True. And the package is lost to the Eagles. I'm like, ah. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, it's tough out here right now. But, ah. The Giants. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing I was thinking when I saw <clears throat> the Cowboys lose. We coming. <laughs> we back. We back. <laughs> they left us for dead. The Redskins are terrible. Yeah, we got the Vikings next. And then the Pats. Yeah, it's a wrap. I ain't even going to comment. <laughs> so, yo, we beat either one of those. Yeah, teams. I was just about <laughs> to say. We be either one of us. I'm like, yo, hey, Super Bowl, here we come. And then, so, who's the third best team in the AFC? I don't, <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I try. Oh, I, I want to say the Los Angeles Chargers, but they haven't looked too good this year so far. Who? The Chargers. Mm. But they're also in the same uh, division as my homeboy, so. Yeah, you know how that story ends. Yeah, so. One way. <laughs> it's a head bashing either way they turn. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad for Phillip. Correct. I do Come too. In. <laughs> Patrick Mahomes just jumping in your division. He go, he's going to the Hall of Fame. He's going to sweep right by Eli, but never have one of them things. <laughs> Oh man. Um trying to think what else. Yeah, that's really it, man. You see the latest with Takashi, your boy? Yeah. <laughs> 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 what do he do now? Apparently he declined uh witness protection. And he plans to just come back out when he's done with his sentence. What a crazy time we live in, you <laughs> It's not that surprising. Uh, explain. Like, what is witness protection ain't gonna help him? 
Like, why not? You got tattoos all over your face. Like you, like you, you, you like when it's protection people, like when they try to go incognito, like they'll send you in the middle of nowhere and you blend in. He got rainbow hair tattoos all over himself. That is true. Like someone can easily spot you. Someone in the witness protection will snitch on you. Like, like you don't, like you, you don't, you don't blend in at all. But for him to just be like, yo, I'm coming back out to the streets. It's very surprising. <laughs> Apparently, he's gonna get twenty four uh, hour security. I, what do you rap? I don't. Huh? He can afford that. That's what I was thinking. Wait, when's he coming out? I don't know. Like every, I read that his his uh, he got the lighter sentence, and he should be at the top of the in like January. But I don't know if that's true. Wait, January twenty twenty. Yeah. Oh wow! I don't know if that's official. That's what I've seen here and there. That's the hope. What does he rap about now? That's what I'm saying. And who a, and who and who supports that music? I don't know. <laughs> I guess the people supporting it before. I don't know. Nah, it's a total different way. <laughs> that's true. You can't make this. Yeah, it's gonna hit a little different. <laughs> <laughs> In light of recent events, <laughs> you confirm snitching like that. <laughs> that changes it all up. You got videos of you getting robbed and people extorting you and all this other stuff coming out. The amount of things that are just privy to the public. Yeah, and then you snitched on Jim Jones and Cardi B. This is crazy for a rapper. <laughs> he called Jim Jones a retired rapper. <laughs> Who is that? He's a retired rapper. Disrespectful. I got oh, one more. Oh, go go ahead. Ahead. No, I was supposed to Jim Jones dropped the project. Supposedly it was decent. I didn't check it out. But, but. No, nah, it was pretty good. Yeah, you listened to it? Yeah, I had a friend was just like, yo, you got to look. I was like, okay. Yeah, I, I saw yeah, that on Twitter. When like, yeah, I'm going to listen to it. Cause I, when people like were talking about 6 9 was saying he's a retired rapper, everyone was like, Jim Jones just dropped the project and it was dope. Yeah, he dropped one of the best projects this year. Really? Yeah. yeah I'm going to check that out then. Oh, yeah. Let me not put too much on it now. I <laughs> thought it was, but I don't want to overhype it. And then. Nah, I'm going to listen to it regardless. Last thing I saw today, the California governor, Gavin Newsom. Oh, yep. You saw that? Yeah. Yeah. Signed cool. uh, into law the Fair Pay to Play, Fair play, to, Fair pay to play Act. Yeah, with LeBron. Yeah, I thought he was dope. He did it on the uh, the oh, shop. Yeah. So, uh, no, that's pretty cool. My boy Brown, powerful. One the athlete. You know how we do. That's all he we gotta say. He don't just sling shoes <laughs> and cut your your franchise player. He sling hope. <laughs> <laughs> you saw um, you saw that the the Charlotte GM. So that they they were blindsided by Kimba making the All NBA team. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, <laughs> that's so shady and dumb. Why would you ever admit that? <laughs> <laughs> we were blindsided by it. So essentially, they essentially said that they they didn't have the uh, the, the money set aside for him to make it. <laughs> it's like, why didn't you trade him then? I I don't get it. I don't get it. They didn't think he was going. They didn't think he was going to make it. They were blindsided. That's your city, bro. <laughs> I guess. Oh, speaking of, this is the last thing. I <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Reach out to your boy Cam. See what's happening. Uh-huh. Just check on him. <laughs> Just check on him. <laughs> Yo, when you said when you told me that. He had he posted a video. I, saw you... that. I thought it was a joke <laughs> until I saw his official name. I thought it was like a, a parody account. Yeah, and I I loaded up the black and white vid. I, I don't know why he thought that <laughs> was good. So essentially, Cam Newton uh, um, released a video on his official YouTube page discussing his recent string of injuries and how 
he's working so hard to get back healthy. But the env- the entire video, he's smoking a cigar and drinking wine. Look but, like the finest of red. <laughs> <laughs> nice Cuban. And he was pulling on it hard. Like <laughs> I'm like, I hope he has coherent thoughts because <laughs> you headed to the danger zone. <laughs> cigar Bro, and wine. Op- the optics just did not look oh. good. I'm like, why would you think this is how? <laughs> but you also about health, <laughs> like injuries. And you you working you trying your hardest to get healthy. You say you just want to be comfortable. Guess he don't care about his lungs. I'm like, shit. I told you he ain't getting his job back. Bro, he's <laughs> focusing like bro. I'm like, yo, these optics look terrible. Uh, if I see him, I'll talk to him. All right, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. All right, man. But I, what I read about his injury. Who knows? He ain't working out. He opened a cigar. Help him. Liz Franks? Yeah. Liz Liz. Frank. That's a fracture in the middle of your foot. Liz Frank. That just heals by itself? Definitely. Which happens when the bone breaks and the midfoot or ligaments tear? Mm. Huh. Supposedly. I'm sure the, the vino and the cigars don't help it heal any faster. <laughs> Oh man. I don't get it. Best of luck down there. Maybe it's not meant for me to understand it though. Good point. Good point. (laughs) (sighs) Uh, But as always, guys, thank you for checking out the podcast. Make sure you rate, share, rate, share, and subscribe. Uh, Check out the website, coolingoutpod.com. Again, that's coolingoutpod.com. Check out the website. Uh, Hit us up, Gmail, IG. Listen to us, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher. Got full-length videos on YouTube, IGTV, all that good stuff. Until next time, it's cooling out. Stay cool. You cool, I'm cool. You cool, I'm cool. You cool, I'm cool. We cooling out. You cool, I'm cool. You cool, I'm cool. You cool, I'm cool. We cooling out.